Hi everyone. My name is Sudarshan Kesavan Narayanan, and I am working as a software architect at uh, NTT. I'm also an MVP on office development, and these are my uh, social links which you can uh, connect me on. So today we are going to see about a uh, uh, command extension named Change Page Layout. So where you can uh, change the layout of the site pages in SharePoint Online from article to home or home to article. As of now, uh, only two uh, types are supported. And you can find the sample at this link, RPF, uh, SPFX extensions. So features, so as I mentioned previously, so you can change uh, from article to home and vice versa. And uh, you also have an option to change uh, multiple pages so it's not uh, page by page. You can choose uh, multiple pages and then you can update it. And uh, there is also a validation where uh, you cannot update if the page is checked out by other users. And it also provides to check uh, whether the page is supported because uh, there are uh, home page, dashboard page, and other types of news posts and news link which are not support, uh, supported. So those will be uh, displayed as unsupported. And this command is uh, the command extension will be displayed only to the site pages list, not to the document libraries or other list. So this is basically a screenshot of the page where you can once the pages are selected, you can see the extension. And once you click on the command extension, you can see all the pages where it provides a toggle button. You can choose whichever page you want to change it and then click on save. So moving back to the uh, code. So let me explain the main things. So after that we will see a demo. So the first is uh, elements.xml where uh, it is targeted to site pages. The registration ID is 119 or 850. As I mentioned, this is targeted to the site pages. So these are all the updates uh, for the element.xml and the client side uh, instance. So there are no properties uh, given here. Uh, moving back to the main methods. So this method get item info. So once the pages are selected, all the pages ID will be passing to the function where I'll be getting all these fields, the title, page layout, type, and the author. So and based on this, I'll return all those information. And after getting all those information, I'll be displaying in the model dialog. And based on the selection, whether it is article or home, so I'll be updating the page layout. So this is on changing the on, on triggering the toggle. So this functions will be executed. So the update page, once you click on the save, I'll be passing the selected pages and whichever whichever the pages are modified, only those pages ID will be passed and the page layout will be updated. So it's simple, very uh, uh, simple extension. And I'm using pnp.js library. And I'm also using the batch method so that all the pages are combined and then uh, executed in a batch. So let us move on to the demo. So here I have installed the extension. So let me open a few page. So basically the main. The main future of this page is to sometimes you can see the placeholder here and you can see all the content. Since I am showing it in a large screen, you are able to see all the content. Sometimes if the users are viewing it a uh, 15 inch or 13 inch laptop, sometimes this header will occupy the entire space. But if you want to focus on only to the content, in that case, uh, there are some articles which are available with, which will use Power Automate to change it. So instead of uh, deploying the Power Automate and then uh, configuring it. So I have just developed an extension. So for example, here the test news 2 and FAQ page, it has a page header where uh, the contents are. You have to drill down to see the content. So once you select the pages, so automatically the extensions are enabled. When you click on the change layout, so it will show the pages by the author and it will also show currently whether it is an article or home. So you can choose. You want the home layout and then just click save. That's it. The pages are updated. So when you refresh back, the header is gone. So you can focus on the content. 
So the same way when you try to save it again because uh, I'll be checking for the update. So I don't want to make unnecessary transaction calls to the SharePoint. So I'll be uh, checking on the update whether actually the there is an update to save or not. If there is no update, then I won't make any calls to SharePoint. OK, so when you when you are selecting the pages. So if you can see some of the page because I have enabled Viva connection dashboard, which is not supported, so it will show as not supported and some of the pages which are checked out by other users. You cannot change unless it is checked in and published by the users. OK, uh, that's it, Patrick. Back to you. Awesome stuff. Uh, very cool demo. Uh, neat use of PMPJS. Nice to see that in there. And good, uh, good uh, practice there to not do updates and not do activity to SharePoint unless you really need to. So nice work there.